Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, July 14th, and here are the week's top stories. Democrats in the Maine legislature last week passed a contentious proposal expanding abortion access to later in a pregnancy, a move that will give Maine some of the least restrictive abortion laws in the country. Abortions in Maine are currently only allowed after 24 weeks of gestation to protect the life or health of a mother. The proposal from Governor Janet Mills would allow the procedure whenever a doctor deems it medically necessary. The bill has energized abortion opponents who have labeled it as, quote, barbaric and extreme, while considering organizing a people's veto campaign to overturn it. Maine Democrats have already used their majorities in the state legislature to enact an array of proposals expanding abortion access, including providing legal protections for medical providers who treat patients from states with abortion bans. Maine will soon have a new program aimed at decreasing homelessness after the legislature included funding for a Housing First program in the supplemental budget approved last week. The program is designed to fund housing and support services for people who have been homeless for at least 12 months. The program will receive between $7 million and $8 million per year from the state's real estate tax revenue, but that funding won't begin until uh, 2025. State housing officials say even though it will take a few years for the funding to start, the establishment of the program will give developers more confidence to invest in projects designed for people experiencing homelessness. A new program will help 20 single mothers in Maine maintain financial and housing stability by offering regular payments of $1,000 that can be used to cover expenses including childcare, car repairs, and other needs. The program is run by the Quality Housing Coalition, a nonprofit that focuses on providing housing support and other services to asylum seekers. The majority of the women selected for the program are asylum seekers or refugees who are not receiving federal benefits or local general assistance. The women receiving support through the program are part of a study including 20 other women who are not receiving assistance. The coalition said comparing the two groups will help determine whether direct payments lift single mothers out of poverty and whether the program could be extended, expanded throughout the state. A new state law will limit how much landlords are allowed to charge for rental application fees. Under the law signed recently by Governor Janet Mills, landlords in Maine may only charge applicants for the cost of a background check, a credit check, or other, another screening process. Tenant advocates say that rental application fees can be a significant barrier to housing for many applicants, and the new law provides transparency as to what those fees are being spent on. Landlord groups say that the measure will likely not have much of an impact on their process for screening tenants. This has been Maine Public News Connect. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you to our excellent community partners for supporting and contributing to this program. We are happy to collaborate on this project with the monthly multimedia publication Amjambo Africa, our official media partner. Maine Public News Connect has been made possible by individual supporters and foundations from across Maine, as well as Ku and Patricia Ewan, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, Maine Housing, and IDEX. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a deal. Junto. Seaport Credit Union. Together. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. Has paying your mortgage been a struggle since COVID-19? The Maine Homeowner Assistance Fund could help. You may be eligible for up to $50,000 in aid. Apply today at mainehomeownerhelp.org.